again, guys, we've got to ask a couple of questions from this band from down in Melbourne. So I'll need two questions, so one each, so we'll keep that short. Uh, thanks for joining us for the post-match press conference. We're joined by Melbourne coach Craig Bellamy and captain Dal Finucane. Dal, I'll start with you. Your thoughts on today's game, what transpired out there? Yeah, obviously just really disappointed with the result. Um, you know, we came into the first half completing under 60%, which is, you know, pretty uncharacteristic for our team. And, you know, still only 6-0 down at that point. And, you know, I think we really needed to rectify that if we were going to be any chance in the second half. And, you know, we didn't quite do that. We were still quite low with our completion. And, you know, not taking anything away from the Panthers, they were outstanding tonight. But, um, you know, I think we were quite uncharacteristic with the ball and, you know, I guess it's just a really disappointing way to finish our season. And Craig, losing Christian Welsh and Brandon Smith so early, how detrimental was that? Oh, it, obviously it, it hurt, but um, you know, at the end of the day, we we got what we deserved tonight. Um, you know, and we dropped a couple of you know real good opportunities, and you know, with you know dropping balls and Panthers really. Scrambled great there a couple of times to save a couple of tries and yeah so yeah like I say probably not we didn't have a whole heap going for us but at the end of the day we got what we deserved the, the Panthers got what they deserved you know they were the best side out there tonight and they got the win. How hard is it to take getting so close in the Premiership defence yet so far? Yeah uh, it is it's real hard to take actually um, you know that was I don't know. Probably with our attack, it was you know one of our poorest performances of the year, probably the you know. But um, having said that, I, I can't be too you know critical of uh, you know of tonight. Obviously, it was disappointing, but you know what these guys have done for two years, um, and you know we won the premiership last year, won the minor premiership this year, and again, you know it's major disappointment on how we performed tonight but um, you know I can't as I said I can't be too critical for you know what they've been through the last couple of years and you know the footy that they've played um, it's just a bit of a shame that you know our biggest game of this year was you know certainly was nowhere near our best Just open up that, that sort of put out that attacking performance is there any indication during the week or did the two weeks off hurt or? I don't know if I had an inkling, I would have stayed up at Twin uh, at Peppers actually. Um, uh, no, like no, we, we we trained, you know, well, you know, during the week, and um, didn't see I didn't see that coming at all. But um, yeah, I, again with the uh, the week off, you know, I, you know, I think these days the week off's a real blessing. You know, I, I don't know, we give a few players a rest in our last game, and there was. Obviously, some of the players missed one or two games through injuries towards the end of the season. So, you know, I don't think we were underdone, but, you know, <laughs> who knows? Like, you're not really going to know. But as I said, I didn't see that performance, you know, coming. Um, but having, having said, as I said, you know, we, we defended well. You know, the opposition, you know, scored, you know, two tries. And, you know, we lost, you know, two of our key players, I suppose, in... Um, in the ruck there, you know, in the first you know ten or fifteen minutes. So um, yeah, like I like to say it, it was just it was just really disappointing. I suppose I can't think of another word, um, but I didn't see it coming. And as I said, you know, we'll try and well, hopefully, you know, we'll learn from this. Um, you know, we'll try and celebrate, you know, what we've done for the rest of the year in the next couple of days. Oh, Dale, how tough was it in the middle without Christian and, and Brandon? Obviously, two key guys in your rotation. Can you, what sort of hold did that leave for, for you guys out there? Yeah, it certainly makes the rotation tougher, given that you know there's only two blokes on the bench to you know rotate for the remaining 80 minutes. And you know, as Craig said, it happened quite early as well. So um, you know, which means Harry's has to has to play that remaining time as well, which you know, which he usually does when Brandon goes off uh, when Brandon goes to the ruck, but. Um, you know, having to do that for a longer period tonight, obviously um, messed around with the rotation a little bit. And, you know, just the energy those guys bring as well. You know, Brandon's such a key part of our middle in, you know, both attack and defence. And, you know, Christian really drives that enthusiasm and, um, you know, line speed in our ruck. And, you know, that's certainly something we missed 
um, you know, for the duration of the game. And as I said, that's, you know, obviously part of the reason why the game ended the way it was. But as Craig said, we sort of you know, didn't take the opportunities and we had a few uncharacteristic errors that, um, you know, we haven't had. You know, I thought we played really well in our last game against Manly with the ball. Um, I don't think the week off, you know, hurt us at all. I think, if anything, you know, it's an advantage to freshen up and, um, you know, give some guys who've played a lot of football time to freshen up as well. So, you know, there's there's no excuse, I guess, for the performance that we put out tonight. It was just, um, you know, as I said, I have nothing else to say besides disappointing. Uh, did you get a sense of Ivan Cleary was just in here? He said that it was particularly kind of personal for them, especially coming up against you guys for the grand final last year. Did you get a sense of the purpose Penrith were playing with tonight? It just felt like they, they really took it personally against you guys. Oh, I'm not sure if I you know, think it was something that I was mindful of in, in particular, but you know, the style of football that they play you know, is really aggressive. They've got a really tight defensive line generally and um, you know, they try and um, you know, drive people back in their tackles in that red zone area. And you know, I don't think I was mindful of anything you know, that they would usually do that, that they did tonight, but um, you know, if that's the way that they that were thinking or their mentality throughout the week, then you know, I guess it sort of showed in their football. Craig, your side obviously were heavy favourites going into this game. A lot of people were sort of, you know, thinking that it would be a bit of a walk in the park for you guys. Was there any sort of sense of confidence or maybe overconfidence within the group going into the game? No, I don't think so. No. We certainly that's one thing we sort of talk about a fair bit and you know, we mentioned early in the week, so um, I don't think that would be a problem, but yeah. For a couple of guys, it might have been, you know, like you, I can't read what they're thinking. So, um, but yeah, I'd hate to think that that would be would have been the case. Craig, were you surprised that Luai came back on the field? Who, mate? Luai, Jerome Luai, after the head knock. Uh, I'm trying, trying not to concern myself too much with those things. Um, Craig, do you worry about Christian Welsh? Like a number of concussions now. Like, do you worry for his health or his future? In the short term? Oh, I, I, you know, I tried to worry about anything until we've got something to worry about. So, you know, the medical people will sort that out. I'm not, you know, I'm not qualified to, to make decisions on, you know, whether he is in danger, he's not in danger, or how many he's had and, you know, how severe they've been. So, um, obviously, it's not, not great, you know, getting the amount probably that he has. Although, I think you know, the last one's, you know, it's been a bit of time in between. But, um, yeah, so you know, we'll leave that up to uh, the medical people and go from there. Craig, you touched on it before, but I guess the positives is you, you said the two years that the club's kind of had away from home, you've got a premiership, a minor premiership. I know you're disappointed tonight, but mm. can you reflect a little bit on just the kind of camaraderie in the group and, and what you've produced in that time? Yeah, um, you know, it's been you know tough both years for different reasons. You know, last year, um, you yeah, know, we had. A, a lot of the families up here, but this year we haven't, you know, and last year we were, we were locked in more than we were this year. So it, it, it's been, you know, it's, it's been pretty tough going uh, for, and not not for everyone, like some guys r really like it, you know, especially the single blokes, you know, they're, they're up in the sunshine and um, and whatever. But, you know, for some some of the families, it, it's been real, r really tough. And, um, yeah, I, I, I just sort of probably got a sense a month or so ago that... Um, you know, it was wearing fairly thin on, on, on some of them, you know, so we've just tried to, you know, to keep that going and to keep keep things as normal as possible and, you know, try and get through to the end. And unfortunately, like I say, it, it hasn't happened. But um, as I said, you know, we, you know, we've used that word really disappointed with tonight. Not so much the result, but the performance, to be quite honest, for me. But having said that, what these guys have done for the last couple of years and... Um, especially this year, you know, uh, you know I, I can't be critical of them at all. You know, they've done the, they've done our club really proud. They've done the game really proud, and um, yeah, like I say, I, I, I couldn't. I'm not, as I said, I'm really disappointed this afternoon. But you know, if I take, put that on a bit of a, as a bit of balance, you know, what they've done has been quite remarkable. Dale, um, we might 
some thoughts on your time at the Storm and, and what it's meant for you? Yeah, no, I'm certainly disappointed, you know, not just for myself, but for the team because, you know, I guess the the season that we had this year was, you know, really positive for the most part in terms of, you know, achievement of the 19 in a row, um, the minor premiership, you know, those things are something that we don't take for granted and, you know, something we're really proud of as a club. But, you know, as, as Craig always says, it's a new competition when we start, you know, the finals. And as he said, it, you know, we're disappointing again tonight. And, you know, I guess reflecting my time in the club, you know, I've been here for seven years and, you know, I've learned so much, you know, from both players and, and coaches. And, um, you know, it's hard to put into words actually what it, what it does mean to me. And uh, I don't think it's something that I'll truly reflect on until... You know, the coming week, I guess, because it's it's something I'll probably put to the back of my mind. You know, obviously knowing that my time is coming to an end, and you know, from tonight moving forward was you know do or die, and you know my last game at the club. But um, you know, as I said, I'll certainly reflect on that in the next week, and I'm yeah super grateful for everything this club's done for me. You know, particularly Craig, I've learned so much, and you know, I had an expectation when I came to the club of of what it was going to be like and, you know, it exceeded my expectation. I heard so much about it before I came here, you know, about the players, you know, the senior leaders that they had here and Craig, but, you know, it's it's surpassed my expectations and, um, you know, met some great people here and friends for life, you know, and the accomplishments, I guess, you know, individually and as a, as a club that we've had, you know, over the seven years that I've been lucky to be here is something that I'll, you know, remember when I've finished playing, so I'm you know, eternally grateful for this club. Craig, just get your thoughts on the yeah. players at 11. Um, you know, we haven't had a, you know, we've had some wonderful players at our club um, over the years and wonderful competitors, but we haven't had anyone that prepares for a game like Dale. You know, he's been, you know, with all due respect, I think he's been better for our club than the club's been for him. Um, he's taught a lot of guys, especially young guys, on how they should be preparing and how they do prepare. And as we all see out on the field, you know, that we haven't had a, a better competitor in our club either. So he's given our club, you know, more than we, we could have given him. But um, the legacy he leaves is how much that, you know, the young guys have, have, have learned off him. Um, you want to be a professional, you want to do it. You know, properly, go and watch Dale Finucane. He'll show you how to do it properly. Yeah, probably don't prepare as well. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah, obviously, you know, Jack's, or Josh, sorry. You don't like me calling him Jack, but, um, yeah, he's he's been wonderful for our club as well. You know, we, we've all seen, you know, the tries he scored and, the, you know, the he can turn a game in a, you know, the blink of an eye, so... And he's, he's probably one of our, our real personality players, you know. He's always talking, he's always up and about. So we're certainly going to miss that. And, um, and with Nico, it's, he's been a you know, wonderful addition to our, our club as well. You know, he, he, he was pretty quiet to start with, to be quite honest. And, you know, he still is a quiet kid. But, you know, what he done for, for our team this year early, you know, when Paps was out, was eight or nine weeks. Well, it was a bit longer than I think, 10 weeks. Um, you know, the football he produced, um, you know, to help us, you know, get to the spot in the table that we did. You know, we, we wouldn't have done it without Nico, um, you know, with Paps being injured. So he's had a, you know, a wonderful year, real, real good year. And he obviously got into 19th man for the New South Wales side. So, you know, we're going to miss him too, you know. Like, towards the end of the year, we were just looking for him to play more footy. So we started experimenting with, you know, in a few more positions, you know, and whatever position we put him in, you know, he done a great job for us. So it, the, the whole, the three of them, the, the, they'll leave a big hole. And, um, you know, but having said that, there'll be opportunities for other guys to step up and, you know, and do the job for us. Jack, well, just, you got one yeah. Question? Yeah. So it's uh, from your fans in Melbourne. Thanks for the free membership for us members for next year. How good will it be to finally play a game back in Melbourne? I won't be playing again. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, like obviously, yeah. 
think everyone sort of really keen to, to play a game in Melbourne and um, you know, I know our fans, I, I think it was six or seven games or five or six games they've played in the last couple of years there. So they're obviously missing their footy or missing their live footy. So um, yeah, it'll be great. It'll be a pretty special occasion. I'd imagine when we do hopefully play that first game. Um, so yeah, it'll be great for us, but it'll even be uh, better for our members. Cool. Thank you guys. Thanks. 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 Thanks.